2.17 1. I saw an old man with a dog. 2. It's a nice house. She's a lawyer. 3. What an awful day. 4. I have classes three times a week. 2.18 1. I saw an old man with a dog. The dog was barking. 2. My father opened the door. The children are at school. 3. The moon goes around the earth. 4. I'm going to the movies tonight. 5. It's the best restaurant in town. 2.19 1. Women usually talk more than men. Love is more important than money. 2. She's not at home today. I get back from work at 5.30. 3. I never have breakfast. 4. See you next Friday. 2.20 Computer A uh, A uh, About Anniversary Complain Credible Problem Talkative Usually Woman 2.21 1. What are we going to have for lunch today? 2. I'd like to see a good movie tonight. 3. Please stop complaining about the weather. 4. The woman in the kitchen is very talkative. 5. There's a problem with the computer. 2.22 The movies. The end. The other day. The world. The sun. The internet. The kitchen. The answer. The earth. 2.23 Excuse me, is this seat empty? Yes, sure. Sit down. Ah, he's cute. Is he yours? Yes, yes. Actually, he's a she. Miranda. Oh, three months? Three and a half. How about yours? Stephen, he's four months. <sighs> Did you have a bad night? Yes, Miranda was crying all night. You know, that noise gets to you. It drives me crazy. Do you know what you need? These. What are they, earplugs? Yes, earplugs. When the baby starts crying, you just put these in. You can still hear the crying, but the noise isn't so bad. And it's not so stressful. That's a great idea. Who told you to do that? It's all in this book I read. You should get it. Yeah? What's it called? It's called Commando Dad. It was written by an ex-soldier. He was a commando in the army, and it's especially for men with babies or small children. It's pretty good. Really? So what's so good about it? Well, it's like a military manual. It tells you exactly what to do with a baby in any situation. It makes everything easier. There's a website, too, that you can go to. CommandoDad.com it has a lot of advice about taking care of babies and small kids, and I really like the forums where men can write in with their problems or their experiences. What kind of things does it help you with? All kinds of things. How to change diapers, he has a really good system, how to dress the baby, how to get the baby to sleep, the best way to feed the baby, how to know if the baby is sick. It's really useful, and it's pretty funny, too. 
I mean, he uses a kind of military language. So, for example, he calls the baby a BT, which means a baby trooper. And the baby's bedroom is base camp. And taking the baby for a walk is maneuvers. And taking the diapers to the trash is called bomb disposal. What else does it say? Well, it has all kinds of stuff about... And what does he think about men taking care of children? Does he think we do it well? He thinks that men are just as good as women at taking care of children in almost everything. Almost everything? Yeah. He says the one time when women are better than men is when the kids are sick. Women kind of understand better what to do. They have an instinct. Oh, now it's my turn. Okay, I know exactly what that cry means. It means he's hungry. Wow. What was that book called? 2.24 Generally speaking, I think women worry more about their appearance than men. They tend to spend hours choosing what to wear, doing their hair, and putting on makeup. Women are also usually better at making themselves look more attractive. But I think that in general, men are more worried than women about their body image. They feel more insecure about their hair, for instance, especially when they're going bald. 2.25 Dependent prepositions after verbs 1. He apologized to the police officer for driving fast. 2. We're arriving in Miami on Sunday. 3. We're arriving at O'Hare Airport at 3.45. 4. Who does this book belong to? 5. I never argue with my husband about money. 6. Could you ask the waiter for the check? 7. Do you believe in ghosts? 8. I can't choose between these two bags. 9. We might go out. It depends on the weather. 10. I dreamed about my childhood last night. 11. Don't laugh at me. I'm doing my best. 12. I'm really looking forward to the party. 13. If I pay for the gas, can you pay for the parking? 14. This music reminds me of our honeymoon in Italy. 15. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. 2.26 After Adjectives 1. My brother is afraid of bats. 2. She's really angry with her boyfriend about last night. 3. I've never been good at sports. 4. Eat your vegetables. They're good for you. 5. I'm very close to my older sister. 6. This exercise isn't very different from the last one. 7. We're really excited about going to Brazil. 8. I'm fed up with listening to you complaining. 9. Krakow is famous for its main square. 10. My sister is very interested in astrology. 11. I'm very fond of my little nephew. He's adorable. 12. She's very passionate about riding her bike. She does about 30 miles every weekend. 13. I don't like people who aren't kind to animals. 14. She used to be married to a pop star. 15. I'm really happy with my new motorcycle. 16. 
My dad was very proud of learning to ski. 17. Why are you always rude to waiters and salespeople? 18. Rachel is worried about losing her job. 19. I'm tired of walking. Let's stop and rest. 2.27 1. When you're with friends of the same sex, what do you usually talk about? 2. Are there any sports or games that you're good at? 3. Is there anything you are really looking forward to? 4. Who in your family are you closest to? 5. What kind of movies are you interested in? 6. Are there any animals or insects that you're afraid of? 7. What's your town famous for? 8. Are there any superstitions that you believe in?